Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's Promo. And today we will be taking a look at and setting up the Gold Shell CK5. Now the CK5 runs on the Eagle Song algorithm, which mines the Nervos network, which is CKB. Now this one has a power consumption of 2400 watts, and it has the hashing power of 12 terahash. Now taking a look at the miner on the back, this is where you have your power plug. You also have two intake fans that is blowing the air through the front of the power supply. And then here is also your, your power button for the on and off switch. You also have your ethernet port, which is sitting right here. Now I do want to let you guys know that sometimes wherever you live, the, the power cord that comes with the unit may not be something that works inside of your house or even your country. So I will be placing a link for the cables that at least I use for my house. Now this one is a C19. So basically when you look at it, the, the little plugs right here are gonna be horizontal versus vertically, which those are C13. So this one is a C19 up to the 620p. Now the negative blade, when you look at the outlet itself on the wall, the negative blade will be on the right hand side. Now there's different plugs out there, but this is actually what I use for my outlet out in the garage. So for example, the outlets that I have in the garage are 240 volt at 20 amp. And basically this plug that's right here will go right inside of it, which is the 620p. And I'll place this cable below the video inside of the description, along with the ethernet cables that I like to use. So this one is flat. I love the Cat6 flat 35 feet. You can also do shorter cable length if you want to, but this one is actually going from my D-Link switcher through the closet, through a very nice drilled hole. Uh, everything looks clean and it's going into the garage where all my bigger ASIC miners are sitting. So let's first take a look at where you can purchase the CK5. Then we'll take a look at how profitable this is on a daily basis and also take a look at the graph. Let's take a look at where it's sitting at today, where it has been in terms of CKB price and also maybe possibly speculatively uh, technical analysis, you know, where it could go in the future. So now that we got that out of the way, the website that I always like to suggest everybody to go to is asicmarketplace.com. Now I've purchased quite a few miners from multiple different websites, different distributors, uh, the manufacturers themselves, but ASIC Marketplace does a really good job with its pricing as well as really good communication. And I like the back end with the, the payment system. And they actually usually ship a lot quicker than the majority of any website that I've ever used. So I would take a look over at asicmarketplace.com and I will be placing this link for for the CK5 below the video inside of the description. So here is the Gold Shell CK5. You can see that it's running right now at the 8390 price. It is in stock. Now, some of the main overview specifications here, CK5 12 tera hash, Eagle Song algorithm, hashing power 12 tera hash uh, with the uh, 2400 watt power consumption. Now, sometimes my bigger miners that are over or close to 3000 watts or higher, I put them over at the mining facility, but anything that's right around this 2400 or less, I like to keep it, you know, at the house, eventually move them actually all over into a, a, a mining facility as well. Uh, now this one was released on March, 2021. Now you do have the two fans in the front and two fans in the back. Again, the two fans in the back basically pulls in the air, pushes it out of the front. And that is where it gets pretty loud as well as pretty, you know, warm, you know, being pushed out. So this is the website that I would highly suggest asicmarketplace.com. Now let's take a look at uh, asicminervalue.com. Now this is a good place to take a look at, you know, how profitable any miner is. And a lot of them on the top over here is not even out just yet. Um, but over here on the search, we're going to search for CK5. And once you search for CK5, you can just click on that one right over there. You can take a look at the profit per day, the profit per month, or the, the profit per year, along with the electricity cost that it would take to run the machine. Now, in order to change that, you can go to the very bottom and you can bump this up or down. So if you're running, you know, at maybe just 10 cents kilowatt hours, then you know you're going to be sitting here so your profit would be fourteen dollars and 87 cents so we're just going to keep it at the regular stock number of 12 cents so this could be a little bit higher than yours so these numbers could be slightly different uh, but here's the profit twenty dollars a day electricity would cost you almost seven dollars so your total profit will be 13 each day and again it is at today's price uh, which it has gone down a little bit lately here is all of the trusted vendors of where you can purchase you know the miner so a lot of times people ask me where can you buy them 
them. I usually always state first, go to ASICmarketplace.com. Other than that, you can take a look at a few other ones. Uh, so you can see ASIC Marketplace sitting right here, also in stock. The ROI as of right now is 611 days. So that's 20 months, but again, you know, the price is lower, so this should be somewhere close to about nine or 10 months. But here's the thing, I think the, that CKB is gonna do so well. I think the Nervos Network is, is gonna have some really big days in the future, maybe one or two years from now. So basically for me, people may ask, uh, I am not selling anything that I mine. I actually have quite a bit of CKB already, just waiting for this thing to go up. I'm hoping to at least maybe, you know, 30 cents. I know eight cents is something very simple and easy for it to do. So here's the price as of right now. So right now it is just a little bit over a penny. So it's basically 0 0.013. Now, not too long ago, you know, back on September 9th, this thing was uh, sitting at uh, basically a full penny higher. And then before that, we had some pretty high numbers right up over here, which was a little over four cents. Uh, and then this one was four and a half cents. And so again, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a really good project. It's been out for a while. And I think that there's a lot of future coming for it, you know, coming up. So I think that it going up to, you know, three and a half pennies is super simple. Heading right up over here into almost five cents. I think that is also very easy to do. And if I was to graph up even higher, then I know that we'd be able to see eight cents. And maybe that could be, you know, maybe at the end of this year, early next year. Uh, but again, I'm holding a lot of this till it actually gets higher than that. So again, uh, really hodling this coin right here. And I'm super excited to do so. So uh, basically, we just got to go right back up into this blue channel right here that I drew. And it could take a few days to get right back up here. And then you'd be mining and and then instead of it, you know, pulling in a profit of, you know, $13 a day, then you're going to be seeing this thing, you know, up at $26, $32. That's kind of where it's going to, you know, pull in here in the near future once it actually goes right back up. So again, uh, don't really look at today's numbers for what it's profiting. Uh, I would look at where it could actually go. And we all know where it actually has been way up over here where the numbers look way better. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to go outside. I'm going to plug this thing in, plug in the ethernet, put in the power, and then let's actually get this connected to a pool so you can learn how to do that as well. So I have the CK5 miner out in the garage, powered on, plugged in through ethernet, and now I headed over into poolin.com. And so I went over into CKB, and so this is where you'd be able to add in a worker. And if you don't have a worker added in just yet, actually on the bottom over here, it will show you which mining addresses to put it into. And also too, it just depends on your you know username, things like that, and how many you have active. So if this is your first one, then you wanna type in the name of your pool and then you wanna put in 0 0.001. If it's your second miner, which is basically me today, I'll be putting in Jimmy Promo uh, dot 002. So it's the second one. And so now that you you know have your account created for Poolin or F2 Pool, whoever you may use, what I use to find the miners is a, a, a program that's called Advanced IP Scanner. It's a free program. You're able to get this thing downloaded. So now I'm gonna just hit on search. And what you're looking for is the status over here on the left-hand side. You're looking for one that has a blue monitor and also a down arrow. That down arrow will take you over into the dashboard of the miner itself. So you can see here that this is one for the Antminer DR5 that I have out there. This is the down arrow. If I click this, it'll take me over into the website to, you know, for the dashboard. So now we just got to find one that either says CK5 on it or one that doesn't have any names on it. So originally I thought that maybe this would be the one that would be the newer miner, but it's actually gonna be this one right here. So QSDK. Now what I'm gonna do is I will rename this one to CK5 just so that I know exactly which miner is which. So this is where you wanna double tap on this HTTP. It's gonna take you over into their uh, dashboard. On the top, if you need to, you can switch it over into English. And so here it is. Uh, we know for a fact that it, it is the gold shell CK5 because it's supposed to be right around 12 terahash or right underneath it. Uh, this is the home page here. This is a newer uh, firmware version. So if you've seen this screen before that was on another gold shell, it was updated over into this. So this is where you want to head over into the, the miner. And then this is where you want to put in different pool settings. 
So you first want to unlock this. So once you go to the very top, you want to tap on unlock. And once you've done that, then you want to type in um, uh, the password here, which usually is one through nine. And then you just hit on unlock. So now it's going to take you over into, you know, this screen right here. Uh, this is the algorithm settings. Uh, so you're just going to leave that. But up here is where you want to add in a different pool setting. So if you go to add, then you can type in or press really whichever one you're using. So beforehand, when I showed you the pool and website, the different um, mining pools that you can put into the information, if you actually just click on pool in, it's going to put it in there for you automatically. But then right over here for username, this is where you want to put in your pool's name along with that dot zero zero one or dot zero zero two. So I'm going to type this in. Once you're all finished, you hit on apply. And then what you'll want to do is drag this up to the top. Now, once you move it up to the top, now this right here will be the primary pool that it goes into. And you can actually technically now remove this original one that was sitting there from before because it was one that was for DX pool and we will not be using that. So now this one is green lit and you can actually hit on this lock button this time. So in this way, everything is all locked into place. So now when you head back over into home, uh, you're going to notice that the number could have gone down a little bit and then it's going to build back up because it was added over into a pool. So now you just had to, now you just have to move over into your pool in, you know, site right here. You can actually just go into refresh. So now I've been sitting on the pool in website for about one or two minutes just to make sure that this one was added on. So you can now see that we have two active miners. And so this is all just steadily growing. When you move over into the workers page, you can see that we now have the two. So we have the original one that was there from before, which was doing right around that one Terra hash. And then because this one just got started, even though it is 12 terahash right now in real time, this is just a little delayed. So it says 1.76 terahash, but soon this will go all the way up to that 12 terahash because it's barely been on for a couple minutes. When you go inside of the earnings, uh, this is where you'd be able to see, you know, how it has done. And so usually on a daily basis for that one little one that I have, which is the CK box, uh, this one was doing right around that 170, 180. Usually on average, it's been doing about 170, 180, you know, CKB every day. A few days it goes down a little bit, um, but it's not too bad. And it kind of just depends on the price as well. And so you can see that I've been paid totally over 8,246. So because there's only one that was sitting here with one terahash getting about 180 or 170, now we will basically be uh, timesing that by 12 uh, just because this worker over here is a 12 terahash. You can see it's still building. It is now at three terahash. Now, if we move back over into the gold shell website, the dashboard, you can see right over here that it's actually running a little over 11 terahash. And again, it'll get up to that 12. Uh, which is very, very close. And so that is why this is just a little delayed. But there we go. Uh, this one right here will be making about 12 times as much. So whatever 170 times 12 is, uh, is actually how much this miner alone will be getting the CK5. So that is it for today's video. I just wanted to show you the dashboard, how to get it all connected, how to you know put it into the pool. You can see that it is running in the pool, where it's sitting at now, and then also where it can go. Obviously, I think it's going to easily be two or three pennies, You know, pretty simple. Uh, it can also go up to five cents easy. And I think later on this year, maybe all the way up into eight cents, my full long range projection, you know, three years from now, probably about 30 cents. Here is uh, the ASIC miner value website to show you the profitability. So you can see how it's going to do. Once it goes up, this can easily be, you know, 24 or $36 each day as profit. Uh, and then the trusted location to purchase this, which is asicmarketplace.com. Uh, very good communication with the, with the company as well. So if you have questions, you can always reach out and they actually ship their miners super, super quick. But hope you guys appreciated this video. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe at the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then you'll like the other video on the other side. And I'll see you guys later.